Knowing the golden laws of money increases your chances of creating an amazing fortune exponentially. These golden laws aren't mind-blowing notions or earth-shattering ideas, but rather a basic set of recommendations to remember that will help you properly manage your cash. Failure to learn these money rules may result in a never-ending struggle, making every element of life difficult. Following these golden guidelines will almost certainly ensure your success and ability to attain your financial goals, regardless of the circumstances of your life. Pay close attention to number one, which is the most important rule. Welcome to Cashflow Canvas, where we teach people about money, personal finance, and investment. If you want to improve your financial future, subscribe to our channel. Number 10. Learn the game. No one wants to go through life unable to afford the things they need and want. This can lead to a miserable existence, with plenty of negative consequences, such as increased stress, poor health, apathy, and a lack of fulfillment and contentment. There are two options available to you. Learn and master the game of money so you may live the life you choose, or to learn the game and risk being broke forever. It may appear that being a master of your money is an immensely difficult endeavor, but many people discover that it's actually much easier than they thought. It is easier than the alternative of fighting to make ends meet and pay expenses. Keep a roof over your head, work nonstop, and worry constantly. Number 9. Avoid investing in depreciating assets. Limiting the purchase of depreciating assets, such as cars and pricey material things, is one efficient method to increase your long-term financial stability and personal net worth. Spending money in excess and even worse, Taking out loans to fund the purchase of these depreciating assets is one of the most detrimental things to your wealth. As a result, you should limit the amount of money you spend on things that lose value or have a negative impact on your net worth, and instead invest your money into appreciating assets that will earn you money, such as real estate equities and valuable metals. Number 8. Cryptocurrencies and Collectibles Make your money work for you. Simply putting money in a bank account isn't going to make you rich with the absurdly low interest rates available. With these accounts and skyrocketing inflation rates, the value of your dollar will swiftly erode if you don't know how to invest it. As Warren Buffett stated, if you don't figure out how to make money while you sleep, you'll be working until you die. It's nearly impossible to get rich by trading time for money, because there is only so much time in the day that can be spent working. And because if you're trading time for money, you're either earning money or spending money. Generating income with little ongoing effort is possible as long as you can afford the initial investment of either time or money to set up a passive income stream. Using your earned income to invest in assets such as stocks, real estate, or businesses will eventually provide you with enough income that you will no longer need to work. Number 7. Save. Don't impress unknown or disliked. That neighbor you despise would be impressed if you went out to dinner and purchased a nice new automobile. How about going out and buying a large, stately home to impress your friends and family? These purchases may make you feel better about yourself, and these people may be impressed for a short time, but your neighbor's friends and family will be over these purchases soon after. But the monthly car payments will not be for that gleaming new ride, and the cost of maintaining the beautiful home will last for years. Number 6. Prioritize yourself. Invest wisely, skip impressions, stay out of debt. Just because you can make the monthly payments does not imply you can afford it, especially with easy financing alternatives available to assist you in purchasing. It's tempting to go into debt to pay for everything from a new automobile to furniture for your home. You want that new living room set now? You don't want to wait months or years till you have the money saved up. The truth is that if you can't pay cash for these luxuries, you simply can't afford them. In addition to being unable to afford these products, the monthly payments will destroy your cash flow, leaving you with significantly less money for financial progress. This does not imply that you should never use the bank's money and must always pay cash for everything you buy. There are occasions when using other people's money might be advantageous. Number 5. Balance Risk There is risk in every aspect of your life, including your finances, and it's your job to manage that to achieve the right balance of risk and reward. Generally, the higher the risk, the higher the reward, but taking on too much risk can be dangerous. It could lead to bankruptcy, whereas taking too little risk could lead to never getting ahead and never becoming financially free. Buying a rental property carries risk, but the rewards could outrun any other investment. 
What about leaving your job to follow a different career path? In order to be financially responsible, you must recognize the risk you're taking and look for ways to limit it. Number four, establish ambitions. Without adequate goals to help you down the path to financial freedom, you will merely ramble through life with no clear direction or defined achievements. When setting goals, make them clear and simple so you know exactly when you've achieved them. Think about the acronym SMART, which stands for specific measurable, attainable, reasonable, and time-based goals that can help you come up with high-quality goals that you're more likely to achieve. Make sure to write these down as this assures you're emotionally and intellectually engaged and more likely to achieve them. A study conducted by Dominican University discovered that writing goals down on a daily basis improves performance and you are 42% more likely to attain them. Number three, sustain your organization. A cluttered, messy house may be stressful, overwhelming, and chaotic, and the same can be said for your finances. Bills and budgets that are unorganized are not only stressful, but they can also worsen your financial condition by forcing you to miss the deadlines for making payments, accumulate fines, maintain poor spending habits, and save. Less importantly, you should be aware of your overall income, take-home pay, monthly costs, savings rate, investment returns, and net worth. Knowing these numbers will make it much easier to track progress and identify areas for growth. Assume one of your objectives was to accumulate a net worth of $100,000. How can you expect to measure your progress and goals if you don't even know what this figure is? Number two, mindset matters for improving personal finances. When it comes to boosting your personal finances, you must have the appropriate mindset. Your financial thinking is a vital underlying component. Having the correct mindset goes a long way. You'll never get wealthy if you're continually making excuses. The reason why it is impossible to get wealthy is up to you to accept responsibility for your circumstance. Begin by deciding to be wealthy rather than being broke forever, living paycheck to paycheck, and struggling to get by. Instead of thinking about reasons why things won't work out, ask yourself how you could become wealthy. Make enough money to never work again. Those that are affluent turn hurdles into opportunities and regard every mistake as an opportunity to progress. Number one, always pay yourself first. When you get paid, the first thing you should do is set aside some money for yourself or pay yourself first, rather than looking at your whole revenue. See how much you can spend, take a percentage off the top for yourself, and whatever is left over is what you should spend. The benefit of paying yourself first is that you build a nest egg to secure your future and create a cushion for emergencies and unexpected expenses, such as a surprise car repair or lapse in insurance. In terms of income, Having this extra buffer offers more advantages than you may realize, such as a reduction in stress levels. Consider how at ease your mind will be when one unexpected expense does not ruin you financially, prompting you to utilize debt when you receive pay. Make it a point to put money aside for yourself first. Whether we like it or not, money influences practically every area of our lives, which is why knowing the 10 golden principles of money may substantially improve the quality of your life and help you achieve any financial goal you have set for yourself.